Hi there and welcome to my channel. So in today's video we are going to start some cucumbers indoors using the Cracky hydroponic method. As you can see we have a lot of roots coming out of these cucumbers. They are getting towards that uh, past that two leaf stage where they're shooting out some more leaves and I think they are ready to get into some nutrients so they can keep growing. So let's get started. So before we get planting up our cucumbers, I just wanted to give you a little update on what's happening in my arrow garden here today. So I was using this not only to start some tomatoes right into the arrow garden system, but also as a seedling starter for my lettuces. And as you can see here, we have some good sprouting happening with my lettuces and I'm going to keep them under here for another week or so until they get a good root system and just stay tuned for an upcoming video on planting up lettuces using the crack key method. These are the two tiny tims that I have planted in the arrow garden and as you can see they already have some tiny little roots popping through the rock wall. They should be reaching that nutrient water that I have set up in the arrow garden container here and they should really start taking off. A couple things I need to do though first is cut out one of the plants because they're two both of these sprouted and also I need to do something to stop the algae growth here on this rock wall which I'll show you here in a minute. Here is the other tiny Tim that I have started. Both of the seeds I put in here sprouted I'm going to have to cut one of them out. I'm just not sure now which one of them has sent out this beautiful root here. So before I cut one away, I want to make sure they have a lot more roots growing into the water first, just so I don't kill the strongest one of the two. So in order to kind of keep that LJ under control, I'm just going to cut some squares out of some recycled paper here that I have. About that size, big enough to cover up the area around the plant. It's going to take a hole punch and punch a hole here in the middle. Cut another line here to the center of that circle. That way you have a little thing that you can wrap around the plant and cover up the rock wall and hopefully keep that LJ under control until the plant gets a little bigger. Because these are just delicate little seedlings still, we don't want to do any damage to the, to the plant. So that's why I'm just using this paper right now. But as you can see, that gives it some good coverage. Keep the algae at bay. And the plant can still continue to grow and flourish. So we're going to be using these containers here to plant up the two cucumber seedlings that I have going. As you've seen maybe in previous videos, I, I really like the Folgers coffee containers. I've spray painted them just to kind of make them more aesthetically pleasing with just some spray paint, but you can leave them as is. They're easy to cut out to fit your net cup into. They have this kind of nice little handle. It's easy to put them under the lights and pull them out and you can easily check your uh, root system. So this is what we're gonna use today, but first I want to just talk about the hydroponic nutrients that I use. So I have two different kinds of hydroponic nutrients that I've been using on my indoor growing. And this one here, the only difference with the Holland Secret is it's a three-part formula. The root farm is a two-part formula. So. Both of these are available um, from Walmart. I've seen them in Canadian Tire. I will leave the links to them below uh, to Amazon so you can look them up. My preference is to use a four liter jug such as this vinegar jug here. The reason being is when you look at the um, measurement table at the back of these nutrients, they base it on a four liter container. So it just makes it easier to mix everything up in a four liter jug and then pour it into your container. So rather than figuring out 
how much this container holds as far as uh, water and figuring out the measurements into this container. I recommend pre-mixing right into this four liter jug and go from there. So the nutrient table on the back of this one has three stages that you follow to mix up your nutrients. Those being the seedling stage, the early growth stage, so kind of the mid stage, and then also a mature stage. So when your plants are starting to bloom and flower and produce fruit or vegetables. I do find the root farm to be the easiest one to follow because it has, you know, two parts to it. And as far as your measurements, there's kind of three different stages to follow. So this is the one we're gonna use today to measure up and make our batch of hydroponic nutrients. So as I mentioned, the root farm just has two parts to the, uh, to the formula that they have here. The one that you will need is the base, part one. You'll see that on here, part one. It also has two different part twos that you can use. So they have the all-purpose that you can use as part two. And they also have one called, which is called a tomato and veggie nutrient. I have used both of these part twos um, for all different varieties of fruit and vegetables that I have been growing. Haven't really noticed too much difference. So I would say if you wanna just have something that should cover all the kinds of fruits and vegetables you're growing, the uh, all purpose part two works good. So to mix up a four liter batch of nutrients for the seedling stage, it tells you to use five mils of the part one and five mils of the part two. So very easy. I found that the lids from these containers actually works out to be five mil. So that's what I normally use to measure into my water. You can also, of course, get a measuring spoon. This one is a five mil measuring spoon. So you should always shake it up really good before putting it into your water. As far as water that I use, I just use normal tap water and have found that it works good. I fill up large jugs in my shower down here in the basement and just let it sit for 24 hours or more just to let it settle. Um, up until this point, I have not been doing a pH test on my water. I think that it, so far it's been working good. It's something that I am researching though and uh, may look into purchasing some pH uh, testing meters and using that to adjust the pH. So stay tuned for that. I will do some more research before showing any videos on that process. So we're going to pour in part one of the nutrients here. It's a very dark color. As you can see. And the NPK on this base nutrient is four to zero to one. Should always shake it before adding part two. This part two, NPK is two to three to seven. I like to pour my nutrients into the container before I plant it up and I pour the water in so that it is just coming above the bottom of the net cup so that the roots will be able to reach that nutrient water but I won't drown them because they do need some air. So you can see here that these have a really nice uh, root growth happening already right through the rock wall. So I just want to gently pull them down and set it up here in the net cup so that the roots will find their way through the holes here and reach the nutrient water. I'm gonna put a few of the hydrogen clay balls here in the bottom just to kind of give it some stability to sit on. And those roots will work their way down through the net cup. 
And then just around the, the rock wool with more of these clay balls so that keeps it stable. They also help keep the light out so that no algae will grow in your water or around the roots. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I have filled it with clay balls all the way to the top. The root system is very close to the bottom here, so I'm going to submerse it into the container and the water will sit right about here and hopefully those roots will start to work their way towards those nutrients and the plant will really take off from there. So I just compress it in there. And from there you can see it has reached the water. So these are ready to go under the lights. So I have two LED lights set up here so that they're about two or three inches away from the plants. I have timers set up for my grow lights right now so that everything turns on for 16 hours and off for eight. So the cucumbers are planted up in their permanent space. Hopefully we will see some growth happening here over the next few weeks and at some point, fingers crossed, some cucumbers. So if you found this uh, video informative and want to see more, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're notified when the next video is up on the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.